Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorov from Laravel Daily Team and I'm also a founder of Quick Admin Panel Generator for Laravel and today will be a topic of Quick Admin Panel Generated Code for API. And I will try to teach you something how to deal with API, specifically with one example. So one of our customers asked how to perform API registration of new user in Laravel. Because by default we generate in Quick Admin Panel these CRUDs, so route resources, but there is no public registration API endpoint and how to create that, uh, this will be the video. So this will be on top of Quick Admin Panel, but not advertisement of the generator itself. It will be a lesson about Laravel API, how to deal with uh, API routes, middleware, uh, then also the API resources and controllers and returning status codes and everything related uh, based on one example how to perform registration in Laravel. So imagine you need to have endpoint of for example slash API slash v1 slash register post and uh, parameters would be name, email and password so basically new user could register. And let's transform this routes API of Laravel to perform that registration. First, it should be public, so it shouldn't have any middleware auth API. But we already have that middleware. Uh, and in, actually, it will be easier to read if you read it this way. So all the route group for our API is under these conditions. So prefix is API, then as API dot. Basically, it means that the URL is slash API slash v1 and all the controllers are under API v1 admin namespace, which is this one if we look at the controller. How to do that? Uh, you want to have the same prefix for all the API, but only some of the routes should be uh, middleware by auth. Some of them could be public. So let's do exactly that. Let's transform middleware into another route group. So inside of uh, main route group, we will create another one. Another one with condition of middleware and, and all the sub routes. So we copy and paste that middleware into that group here and copy and paste these resources into that subgroup. So what happens now? Uh, everything that is here would be public, but still with that API prefix, API v1 but everything that is inside here would be also authenticated by API, in our case it's Laravel Passport, but you could use any other driver. So if we do something like route post uh, register and assign some controller, and let's reuse the same controller for users API, just with a new method, so users API control register, that means that you would, you would have to deal with endpoint slash API slash v1 slash register. And this is the method that we need to create. Uh, by default, this is generated code autom automatically. So this is a store method for creating new user if you are already logged in as administrator uh, with API. So let's copy and paste that. So duplicate. But instead of store, we'll have register. And it will be pretty uh, similar result. So we're creating user. We should assign a role. So in our case, in our system, it's... Uh, user role system with belongs to many relationship uh, and then we just return that user so pretty similar except for a few small changes change number one we won't assign the roles from the request we will just attach role number two which is simple user not admin in our case it's um where is that database seeds roles table seeder so this is our seeds for the roles Role number two, I know it's a simple user, but in your case it may be different. But anyway, attach the role. You, we create a user, we attach the role, and we return the user resource with the same status code. Now this one, uh, validation, probably it should be different. Because on store user request, uh, this one should be not present because uh, this endpoint is public for us. And also roles are not required anymore. So let's copy and paste that request class form request into register user request was store user request so we'll create another one register user request and let's transform that so authorize will be always true and inside of rules we don't need rows anymore and also we can clean up some some of these 
Right, so we have new register user request, and inside of controller, we will just use register user request. Uh, I love PHP Storm by auto completing pretty much every step, so this is how I can deliver faster. And we return the same user resource. And let's, let's actually try that. Uh, let's open our Postman and let's create new post. Also, you will learn maybe how to use Postman. I'm not uh, really good at it, to be honest. But for simple things like that, uh, I really enjoy Postman. So uh, we need to perform post request to API slash v1 slash register. Mm, for headers, we need to specify that it accepts JSON, accept application JSON, and within body, we need to, uh, to specify form data, for example, uh, name would be Pogolas, my own, email would be, I don't know, let's have my own email, lateraldaily.com, and let's try how validation works, actually, so we don't specify any password, which is required, and let's send that request and see what happens. Yep, the result is 422 code, which is kind of validation error, and password field is required. That's exactly what we expected, so with JSON it would return 422 with the error. So if we do specify the password, we have this, and probably it will be a success, and it should return the user object. Exactly, so it returns user with all the data, name, email, created at. Now, how does this work? Where does it come from? Uh, it comes from API resource. So this class, return new user resource, inside of it we have this. Uh, it's just basically generated file. It's the artisan command php artisan make resource, which returns the array of fields of uh, that model. And since we are uh, passing the parameter of user model, let's go to the model and see what fields do actually return. And this is uh, defined by hidden parameters. So everything that is hidden uh, from, uh, from the returning array is in this array. So we don't show password and we don't show remember token. Uh, and probably we shouldn't show something else. Actually, let's experiment with that. If we add a hidden here, so we probably want to show uh, one hide ID. It may be a security concern, so uh, maybe some user you don't want them to know what what is the ID because it may be like too small or maybe it should be hidden for whatever reason. And let's try to add one more user and let's see if it is returned. So ID is hidden now, it's returned with name, email, and, and all of those, but without ID. So here's how you can customize the result of that user resource. Uh, if you add hidden here in the model, uh, you just will uh, return less fields, fewer fields. Uh, I guess that's it. So this is the typical way how to add public endpoint to API. Uh, with prefixes, with middleware, with... Uh, not middleware, with form request for validation and with returning user resource. I hope you learned something from it, how to deal with API, and maybe you want to try it out inside of, inside of our quick admin panel generator to support this YouTube channel as well. So try it out and subscribe to the channel also, and see you guys in other videos.